Today we're talking about castor oil packs. So you may or may not have heard, heard of them. So let's just dive straight in. So what is a castor oil pack? This is a treatment that you can do by yourself. You can have done for you. And I certainly do mix these in with my womb massage treatments um, and suggest um, them for pretty much most people. So before we dive into how we do them, a quick check in who isn't going to be doing these. So if you are pregnant, avoid these. This is something after pregnancy that you're going to hopefully love. If you are bleeding, you do not do castor oil packs when you are bleeding. If you are suffering from very long and heavy periods, this is possibly not for you at the moment. And we'll talk a little bit about why um, in, in a minute. So people that should be using them. If you have very um, painful periods, if you have a lot of tension, if you have a lot of aching, um, particularly in the run up to the periods, if you are having very short periods, shorter than sort of the normal, and I hate the word normal, but sort of average, um, if you're having three days or less, then these could be good for you. If you are men men menopausal, perimenopausal, if you have endometriosis, if you have polycystic ovaries, all of this is, is good for, for you. If you are trying to get pregnant, castor oil packs can be brilliant. We're just avoiding them, as I say, when we're bleeding, but also just after ovulation, if we could possibly be pregnant. So generally, we just stay away from rubbing and giving the womb any sort of physical touch after ovulation when you possibly could be nurturing um, a very early little pregnancy there. So but if you are trying to conceive, castor oil packs can be really lovely to help um, help you on that journey. We're just sticking to the just after bleeding and sort of before ovulation time. OK, so what is a castor oil pack? In short description, it is applying castor oil to your womb and tummy area um, to help with relaxation and detox very simplified um, description of it. So what does castor oil do? Castor oil um, can help with lymphatic flow. It can help increase blood flow to the areas. It can help um, digestion, um, inflammation as well. And it can also strengthen the immune system. So really good, tick, 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 lots of lovely areas there. With a castor oil pack, we are applying it onto the womb area and or the tummy as in digestive area. So just above the womb, more of the stomach around the belly button. So if you are suffering with constipation or um, IBS issues, um, this can be this can be fabulous for you as well. So I've got some castor oil here. This is from Sopery. You can maybe see it's quite thick and um, it isn't generally used in massage. So I'm going to talk you through how to do a, um, a castor oil pack. Some of it is rubbing in, but you wouldn't be using this for a womb massage. So in my other videos, when we talk about womb massage, I will explain why oils are good for that. So it's quite a thick oil. So for the pack, you're going to need a good castor oil. We're going to go for a 100% castor oil, <coughs> excuse me, with no essential oils added. You don't need to be messing around with um, anything that's fragrance. This is keep it nice and simple, just castor oil. Um, make sure it's organic as much as you can do, um, reputable companies. Um, and like I say, this one's from Sopery. This is a great one for me. So you're gonna need one of these. You're also going to need a little pot to put it in. So a little glass pot, um, do stay away from plastic, glass is better. Um, 
this is, as many of you might know, a goo pot. So you can go get yourself a nice little chocolatey dessert, empty it, clean it, and then you've got a nice little massage pot here. You are also going to need a hot water bottle. Now, I have a very large, long hot water bottle that I actually won in a competition, which was lovely. However, you can have any size, normal, um, just a regular hot water bottle. What you also might need is um, some spare towels. Now, I am told that castor oil can stain. This hasn't been my experience so far, but we're going to err on the side of caution. So some towels that you don't mind getting marked with castor oil and oil in itself will generally leave some oily residue or marks on clothing, um, particularly anything thin. So we're just avoiding that in general anyway. So just a nice towel to cover the belly. Um, or you can use a muslin cloth, if, especially if you've got kids. And this is great, particularly after you've given birth. So um, if you've got some of those muslin cloths, use those. That's all you're going to need. Then you want to go into want to find yourself a lovely, comfortable place to lie down. So I love doing castor oil packs in the evening just before bed. And that way the castor oil can stay on me all night in through to the morning and just work its lovely magic. But you can do these at any point in the day, really entirely up to you. It takes about 30 minutes. Now you can relax for less and you can relax for longer. So it's entirely up to you, but 30 minutes is a really good time. Anything less than sort of 15, are you gonna be feeling the benefits? Quite possibly not. So if we can try and schedule in 30 minutes, that would be perfect. So what are we going to do? Well, we're going to pop the castor oil in the little goo dish. So you're not going to need too much, maybe just sort of a finger width. Um, depends how wide you are and how tall you are, really, because we're going to want enough oil to cover the, the belly, the womb area. So it might be a case of sort of suck it and see and see how well the oil travels on your skin as well. So it might take a couple of times to get the right amount. Always two more than too little. That's what I say. So you're going to pop the oil um, into this glass dish and then we're going to warm it up. Now, I avoid the microwave <laughs> as much as humanly possible anyway. Don't pop this in the microwave. We don't need that kind of heat. What you're going to do is get your hot water bottle, pop the oil on top of the hot water bottle. If you can, pop a towel over the top of it to keep the heat in and then just leave it for five minutes. Ten minutes can be a little bit longer. You're going to want to keep this hot water bottle handy because we're going to use it when we've applied the oil and you don't want it to go cold. So five minutes is fine. So we're going to leave that for five minutes to warm up. You're going to get yourself ready. So we're going to pull up the top, pull down the knickers and get the belly exposed. So what you wanted to do is go right down into the, the pelvis area and to the pubic bone. And you can go right up to the, the diaphragm area with this. So like I said, if you're using this for digestive issues, then you're going to want to expose the whole belly. When it is nice and warm, we're going to rub it into your hands just a little bit. It's very, very thick, so you're really going to feel it. And then you're going to rub it around the belly in a clockwise motion. So this can be full, big, sweeping circles around the belly, or it can be smaller circles into the womb area. We don't go anti-clockwise just because that's not how the digestive system works. We're going to want to go nice um, and a, a clockwise direction. Just rubbing it in as much as feels good, taking a couple of minutes. As I said, it's quite thick, so we're not going to be doing the full womb massage that I talk about in other videos, but just this nice sweeping motion around the tummy, around the womb area until you feel all that lovely warmth and that oil seeping in to your belly and your womb area. 
We're then going to place the towel over the belly. So may maybe not too thick because we're going to want to make sure we can feel the heat. So get in the towel or the muslin and then we're going to get the hot water bottle and place it on top of the belly. So if you're using this for digestive issues, you're going to make sure it's around the tummy area. If it's the womb, just sliding it slightly lower. Ideally, we're covering both areas. So even if you need two small hot water bottles, use it there. Lying back, taking in the heat, let it sink in. And then we're going to lie there for about 30 minutes. Once you are finished, taking the hot water bottle off and you can relax. Like I said, you can leave the castor oil on for as long as you like. So that can be for the rest of the evening or through the night. If you're going to go out somewhere, you might want to, to wash it off or wipe it off with a cloth uh, that you don't mind getting stained. Um, so maybe having a castor oil cloth ready and handy. And that is it. That's your uh, that's your castor oil packs. So I'm mentioning this in my six step uh, womb reset, the womb cleanse that you can you can do. This is a particularly effective after you finished bleeding. Just a few things to mention. If you're having short bleeds, you might find that after the castor oil pack that you have a little bit more bleeding because perhaps you aren't bleeding as much as you need to be and you're not fully cleaning out the womb. So you might experience a little bit of that. You might next period find that you've got a longer, um, slightly heavier flow because we've increased um, energy to the womb area we've increased the blood flow so if this is what you're looking for if we're if we're sitting in that short bleed area we're having lots of tension and lots of pain what we want is for the flow to be really lovely and just letting it all out remember that menstruation is a cleanse in itself you are getting rid of what you need to get rid of so that's absolutely fine that will settle down um, and you you won't find that you are super heavy probably over the next couple of months. So don't worry. It's not a <laughs> you're not going to be gushing out um, <laughs> in, in any way, shape or form. So if we if we're looking to do this to really reset ourselves, what you're going to want to be doing is once you finish bleeding, take a castor oil pack. And then maybe repeat it in three days and then in another three days as well. So you can do set of two or three of these with a little three day gap. It's the beginning of your cycle. It's going to really help with ovulation, with just getting into that nice flow. And like I said, then the bleed might be slightly longer, might be slightly heavier, but hopefully you won't be feeling that pain and that tension that you normally normally do. Repeat again the next month um, if things seem to be working for you. It's not something that you have to do every month. You could maybe do it once a month rather than the three times if you're enjoying it. Um, but you don't have to sort of work it into a daily schedule. So don't panic about that. If you've got any questions, please do uh, give me a shout. And remember, as with anything, I am not a medically trained doctor. So please do seek advice from your medical practitioner. Take care.